from me having so many clients mm-hmm. who had side hustles. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted them to get their business out there. Mm-hmm. Um, so Look Who's in Business got created because mm-hmm. it was called Look Who's in Business and Guess What They Do okay. because really Nobody only probably their family and friends knew that they cook rice bowls or they fry chicken and fries. They side hustles. They <laughs> fry chicken and fries uh-huh. on Friday. Uh-huh. You know, nobody really know that they did that but friends and family. Uh-huh. So I decided to, okay, let's push these businesses to the forefront. Uh-huh. And then I developed Look Who's in Business okay. networking. Event. Okay. And it's been five years. Now, you uh-huh. show and feature um, a variety of different businesses. So I've seen that this um, upcoming event, you're going to have um, breakout sessions. And those breakout sessions, are, uh, what's going on with those? Oh, glad you asked. <laughs> Look, I'm a great interviewer. <laughs> okay. I studied this. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Oprah? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I am, but... <laughs> so, breakout sessions. Well, that? we're going to have... First of all, I'm going to be doing a breakout mm-hmm. session, and it's going to be strictly credit tip. Okay. I'm not going into any spills, any history, yeah. any... You know, nothing basic is going to be straight credit tips for business, 30 minutes. Straight to the business about it, okay. Straight credit tips from start to finish. Mm-hmm. Introduce myself, you know, ask the crowd who they are, why mm-hmm. they're there, but straight credit tips. Okay. Um, the myths, mm-hmm. whatnot, and what have you. That's what I'm going to be doing. And then after me, um, Rochelle, she's, gonna, she's a financial planner. Okay. She's going to be doing the six ways to get into the stock market. Okay. Very basic. I started out with her with 20 bucks because okay. I was scared. I ain't know. Look. I'm like, what? I don't know we nothing about this. our money to our chest now. <laughs> because I didn't want to lose it. Yeah. And I didn't really know, okay, what you doing? I'm not a gambler. Like, I really am petrified of gambling. Well, see, I ain't, Look, yeah, I, I ain't going to lose gambler. $20. So. I'm a gambler a little bit. <laughs> so Rochelle, her name is Rochelle? Right, Ro- Rochelle. Rochelle, okay. And um, she's going to be doing a breakout session. Um, Financial six, planning. Six ways to into the stock market okay. and then after her we have Darlene Mains okay. she's going to be doing um, about financial insurance and okay. stuff like that we need to have okay. for our family and how you can borrow from it okay. and all of this good stuff Okay. and then we're going to have um, a lash class Okay. Lanisha is going to okay. be teaching a lash class Okay. how to apply the lashes take okay. care of them clean mm-hmm. them no <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she well, got you that. Know, yes, no, she I, I've, I've. The funny thing is, I have several friends and cousins who are like about their lashes, like they can't step out the house about, you know. Well, you look like an alien, and once you lose yours, I guess you're gonna lose them when you wear them. So you gotta have. That's them. the whole thing, and that okay. But um, what's her name, Lanisha? Yes. She gonna be doing the lash class. All right, so for y'all who you know want some tips on how to put your lashes on. You know, fluff them up a little bit. <laughs> you can show to Lanisha's breakout class about that. So you get a whole full tutorial on that. Uh-huh. Right. And then um, we're also going to have. Um, who else is going to be doing that? You got a lot of people. I, I know the mm-hmm. lineup is cool. It's real dope. I know um, Cece is going to be doing a, a lace class, showing okay. you how to lay the lace front. Okay. But that class uh, is a fee for that class. Okay. All the other classes is free. Okay. For anybody who attends. And what time do they start? We're going to have a schedule. So mm-hmm. the, for my class starts at 10. Okay. It's going to be every 30 minutes okay. afterwards. Mm-hmm. And then once Master P come on stage, it's a wrap. no more class. It's All right. <laughs> so she mentioned, I was waiting to get to that part. But, you know, for the past five years, you've always had a special guest for the most right. part. Right. Um, and let's run down for the past couple years because it's been a crazy lineup. And this is, you have brought, like I said this last week, you've always brought people who weren't just celebrities, you know, but you came with their, what they were as the people, you know. Right. The kind of thing, the kind of movement they're about, the kind of, you know, um, just the business ethics and all that. So who was your first guest the first year? My first guest, actually, I wanted Candy Bird. Okay. But I didn't get her. Okay. I got her assistant. Okay. Don Juan. Okay. But I really liked that I had him because he basically was an assistant. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for an assistant yeah. at the time. Okay. And so he was giving me tips on what, what you should look for. Yeah. Right. And how he handles business as being an assistant. Uh-huh. And then that same year, mm-hmm. I got my assistant. Okay. So you really can't. And that's move Shamir, forward. right? Right. Shamir's dope. Right, right, right. Uh-huh. So you really can't move forward without. A team. Yeah. Mm. So here I am on Candy Burris, yeah. year one, Yeah. when I was barely 30 business owners. But you said something on Facebook months ago. You probably don't remember. 
but you said basically closed mouths don't get fed right exactly. and you were specifically talking about if you want something you can just keep wanting it but not making the effort to get it is going to be on you so you want a candy and you try to get candy, right? <laughs> they may have sent you where her fee was or whatever. Well, no, I couldn't. She was always busy. Yeah. She was always busy. You and then like I was that. like, I was like, well, what about you? <laughs> and he was like, I'm good. Let's go. And he gave me his fee. And right. I was like, okay, cool. Let's but do it. People were more excited to see him okay. anyway. So and it just worked out. All right. Year two. Year two, we had Rashida. Okay, from um, Atlanta. Right. Okay. Rashid and Kirk came, okay. and that was crazy. Okay. We'll keep it going. They were already on Kirk. Uh-huh. So, year three. Hey, Tasha. Year three. I know that one because that was my first year there. That was Yandy. I you doing? interviewed by Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo. Yes, yeah, Taylor. <laughs> so, I got to um, give a shout-out to my team at Pursue Overtaking Recovery Services. Yes. Shatayla, Wadrita, mm-hmm. Debrisha, Willie, Willie, Willie. Mr. Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Willie Hudson. They already know who you are, Shatayla, so please get off my live. Mm-hmm. And just give me a shout out. Shatayla Spade. <sighs> okay? Drop the last name. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and, uh, hey, everybody. Hey, Ooh. Tasha. Tasha's here. I, before, listen, I just got to say this. Tampa, what's up with all the traffic lights on Hillsboro? <laughs> <laughs> it's about 30. Oh, is it real. warranted? Oh, my gosh. There's not that many on Bush. What's up with Hillsboro? <laughs> Jeez. Because there's too much going on on Hillsboro. Oh. You got every flea market, about 10 of them. I see car lots. And Lion King came out today, so I think the theater over here might be showing it. Wait oh, a minute, okay. not the drive-in. You don't think so? You think the drive-in got Lion King? <gasps> Come on, why wouldn't they? Because the drive through usually they have the older movies, right? No, they had... Uh, well, let me not say. I felt like they've had some current ones. But back to you. I want to so, go there. <laughs> I like you want to go to the drive through get a big truck and all us yeah, go to the drive Yeah, just pull up at the drive through <laughs> All right, so you're driving you um, Yandy. And that right. was um, my first event, um, like I said before. Um, and that was when I first also met you and, you know, got into just seeing what you were about and what kind of event this was. Right. Because not only did you have different vendors you know but they all were able to still mingle with one another at that time we were able to walk around you had different people you had different photographers they were working yes but then they still made sure to get people's cards so it was a very family oriented atmosphere for the vendors i feel right right um so what was your experience for year three because by then you were kind of you you you're making moves now with this one right right but i just knew that it was growing Mm -hmm. because I had different lawyers contacting yeah. me to do their yeah. to set up a networking event yeah. like that. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not, yeah. I don't do. Yeah. I'll set up the events. <laughs> I just wanted to do this. Now you facilitating <laughs> stuff, right? Uh-huh. So then offers started coming for me to set up the same type yeah. of event with attorneys. Yeah. In the area, so after the third event, I guess people was like, okay, she's gonna be doing yeah. this for a yeah. while. Yeah. 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 And they really realized, okay, it's real. It's, it's real. popping, y'all. Right. So <laughs> the people just don't understand the type of. Money and yeah. attention yeah. and that people, too. the background yeah. is yeah. like. Yeah. And I'm glad you touched on that, Rachel, because that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. Putting on these events, ladies and gentlemen, is not easy. Mm. Um, I do events as well, and it's very costly. And so especially if you want it done right. And I know Rachel. Rachel has done this for five years. Um, and Rachel... Um, has her events at these humongous people have concerts at these um, facilities and um, these spaces. So I know for a fact that that's very costly. And so when she promotes her event or um, she's out in the streets grinding for her event, there's a purpose behind it, ladies and gentlemen. And always, you always got to understand these events aren't just, you can't just put them together. You need a whole team and Rachel Mm. does have a whole team behind her um that's a good thing about it like I said I've been to um look who's in business before and it's well put together this is not something that she just you know put together she definitely put some put some teamwork behind it and some you know people behind it so all right so year (laughs) four Rachel says it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of I'm work. Tired. That's why she's tired. That's why she's tired. All I know. my vendors, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me Ooh. say something to my vendors that's watching. Ooh. They are spoiled. 
Uh oh, yeah. We are. Yeah. They spoiled. Yeah. So I am getting ready yeah. to nip this in the bud this what? season. What uh oh, season five. What do we do? Uh oh, y'all too picky. Like, oh, oh well, I will no. say I was. I'm gonna I'm hold my There's finger. No, oh, there, no. We gonna get to select our booths. Oh, things. they want to be up front, huh? I didn't do that. <laughs> but see, they don't even know where I'm gonna come. So you know, I understand people don't want to be where they was last year because if you had a bad spot. Not a lot of traffic. I get that. I right. feel like you can you can make your spot pop. I know oh, yeah. you can make your spot pop. I'm popping. glad you said that. But B, see, definitely. you don't know how know. things are I set know. up. So yeah. I got some spoiled. And I know. I can imagine. And Lord but, forbid if they've been with me for five years. They damn near only I, been. Oh, excuse me. Yo, they yeah. only, <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> only did like, like me. So I try to listen to them. Like, okay, what y'all want? What? Because I, I appreciate them. Yeah. Right, of right, of course. So I do kind of cater to them. Like, she's been with me for five years. Whatever she wants, yeah. right. put her where she want to be. You right. know That's what I mean? Love, That's love, though. That's love, Because love. Um, showing appreciation to those who appreciate you and who continue to show up every single year. Right. Um, I just want to make sure that everybody understands, if you show up, each year you're given an opportunity to kind of pre, um, pre-sign up for the following year. Uh yeah, we already got our prices for next year. So, Uh-oh. I'm just she saying. She fake, y'all. No. <laughs> last year, <laughs> how you did. I, I, I'm always the first one. I feel like I'm always the first one. I'd be hitting my card over like, That's uh, good. That's uh, good. Please make sure you sign me up. Uh, Shamir, uh, we have no problems next year. <laughs> That's good, right? But, you know, you, you have such a great event. And so, now, this year, um, who are we having? It's Master P. Y'all. Master, Master <laughs> P. All right, and um, Master P is P. in the building. And forget the fact that he... you know we should call him. Y'all want to call him? Y'all, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> if you can, if we call first Master of all. P. First of all, his, <laughs> have his phone number. <laughs> I would, if you could. Oh my god, was, that would be so. Or much have him fun. call in. If he could call in. If that, he can call in, that, that would, would be greatly be awesome. appreciated. I, I had to prearrange that. Okay. No worries. But if he, you could put him on speaker. If he can get on the show, <laughs> I would be so happy. I would be like, no, oh, my God. Y'all should have told me that before I called. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Master P in the building. We were just happy to have you here physically. We didn't know we could ask for more. Right. Now I know Part next two. time. They next time you can't I'll not because you asked. Yes, Part I will two. always make sure I ask for everything. I want to be giving these tickets away to your listeners. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So, let's say this. All right. Okay. So if you call in, go. they got to sing one of Master P songs. Uh oh. They got to do something. Hey, if okay. y'all don't know Master P songs, so, I don't uh, know what's going on. Call in 813-444-9588 if you want some free tickets to look who's, look in, who's business. in business people two Rachel K-19. got tickets you getting two tickets and mind you these are real tickets you'll see me you'll see right. Tasha you see Miss Rachel you're gonna see all of us there <laughs> so if you want some free tickets we got two to go for the first person who calls 813-444-9588 and what do they have to do they have to sing a little bit of one of Master P songs all right all that's right. it child that should be smooth sailing look, if you a millennial you know how to do it Yeah, go do something. My kids like, who's Master P? Google real quick. So uh, when we come back from our first break, are we ready for our first break already? Are we ready? We almost there. But when we come back from our first break, we will be giving away these tickets. All right. So um, yo, I got a lot of tickets. (laughs) No, she got a lot of tickets. So we, this is okay. You know what? You are gonna really make people work today. I'm really talk radio with Rachel Space Hudson. All right, we'll be right back. Been in a car crash? Call Ricky. Don't know what to do? Ask Ricky. We will connect you with a lawyer and doctor experience in auto accident injuries. Call Ricky at 844-361-7425. After an auto accident, you have 14 days to seek medical attention. You may be in pain. So call Ricky, ask Ricky for your best options. 844-361-7425. Call Ricky, ask Ricky is a legal and medical referral service. The lawyers in our network pay to receive referrals. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college 
you know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than 1 million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. to get this two free, t- free tickets for our, our Look Who's in Business 2K19. So we're going to wait for that phone to ring. But in the meantime, Tasha, you got some questions for Ms. Rachel. woo Okay, so when we went to break, I wanted to talk to Rachel um, more about I told her I wanted to know who Rachel Spates is, Hudson is, um, outside of her work-life balance. I know she does a lot in her community um, as far as charity work and so forth. So I wanted to talk to you more because I know you got grandkids and Mm. I see you at the football fields and Mm. I've been there, done that with my son. And, whoo, that's, oh, God, that's a whole nother level. But I see you out there stumping for those (laughs) kids. And I want you to talk a little bit more about um, your grandkids and what they do and how you balance your work life with family life. Well, oh, oh, we got, we a, got call. a call. First time caller. <laughs> she got a reprieve real quick. <laughs> and Shatayla, I already shouted you out. We got a caller. Didn't I shout Shatayla out? Who do we have on the line? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Who are we talking to? Holly. Holly. Hey, Holly. How Holly. you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? We're, We're doing great. good. So you want to win a ticket to look who's in business? Yes, I'm going to win a ticket for Master P. Okay, <laughs> so Rachel, you got your first call, but let her know what she got to do to get a ticket. Okay, you got to sing a little jingle for Master I P. I got song. the hook up. Oh, Holler if you hear me. Oh, God. <laughs> I oh, got the hook up. Holler if you hear me. Okay. <laughs> Holly got them tickets uh, real quick. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. No, you hear me. You won, you won. Go you ahead, Holly. <laughs> hey, we need some Master Good job, yeah. Holly. Good so, job. Holly, um... I get my seat. Yeah. You get your seat. <laughs> what she say? She said she gonna get her seat. Okay. Right, I think Holly is also in our live feed. Oh, okay. okay. Hey. Holly, you got your tickets. We got you. Um, make sure you DM <laughs> me, uh, DM Goddess Talk, and we will work on getting you these tickets, okay? We got you. Yes. Right, thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. <laughs> it's like that simple uh, Shakia, uh, <laughs> call next time. <laughs> All right, Rachel, All right, that was so exciting. I so. got Holly's two tickets. Okay. All right, way to go, Holly. Go ahead. Okay, so I have five grandkids, six, okay. maybe seven, you know. Uh, oh God! <laughs> that's a lot. That's a. That's, um, I'm over here well, they, myself like it's a. That, oh, that's, that's a, a whole nother I'm episode right there. <laughs> they play sports, and I'm very into them being involved with something in the community. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I do sponsor a lot of kids to play football, mm-hmm. do summer programs, and then this year I think I paid for like over seven kids to play football. Okay. All right. Including that's my grandkids. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's a it lot. ain't cheap. It's right. Football ain't right. Cheap right now. What's up with that? It's not yeah. twenty five dollars no more. Oh, Those shoes no. are not cheap. Them I cleats. have brothers. These kids don't right. want no regular cleats. They want all the latest and hottest cleats. How you, you handle that, Grandma? I, Nike outlet. <laughs> don't play at me. Uh, it ain't what you're wearing. It's how you right. playing in how them. you playing in them. That's so, right. If they work. <laughs> make me proud. Right, right, right. So, That's right. I'm very involved with them and making sure they stay on the right path and Learn business. I want them in real estate. Okay, that. yeah. that's what she I'm talking them about. Along. And see, that's a blessing because most young parents nowadays really don't have that, you know, connection with, um, you know, how Rachel is plugged and her business is um, prospering to be able to offer that to their grandchildren. And that's why it's so important to start a business or start something that can produce generational wealth for your um, children and your grandchildren. So, 
Um, her grandkids are going to be blessed, and I'm sure their credit is going to be excellent. I'm almost certain that that's going to happen. Well, I'm watching them how they spend money right now. <laughs> right, just don't I'm tell them. I'm questioning a few of their motives right now because one spend money, time, and get in his hand. Uh -oh. You bring them along um, to different places, and they're getting to see how you maneuver business, mm -hmm. right? Right. They yeah. go into the houses with you, and they're seeing how you're – Okay, I don't like this. You know, I want to switch this around. Right, they're, right. They're oh, they're the ones moving the furniture. Exactly. Right. And that's yeah. how you start them out. You get them right. in that's into the hustle, and that's what makes them want to um, win. You know, when they get a certain age, they see, you know, hey, my grandmother or my mom is doing big things, so I want to do this too. And that's the thing that we need to teach our children and show our children that, hey, you can work for somebody or you can be a business owner or you can, you know, do, do things in the community. You can do both. But just do something that's going to benefit you. That's that hands <laughs> right, right, right. You got so hands if I go to a closing, <laughs> If I go to a closing, no? I take them with me. Yeah. Oh, that's and Whenever good. I get my little check, Let's I see. put it on my dashboard and let it ride around with it for a little while. <laughs> okay. And then when I get ready to go to the bank, I go, hand me that check. <laughs> I take the little part off the bag. I'm like, how much is that one? He's talking about, oh, this one's sick. Uh, oh, and it's no, one more, know how to one count more it, under huh? them. <laughs> no, I just let them see. Yeah. But this is <laughs> what we bank. consider as hands-on experience, right? right? Because this can go on any resume. Can't, right. Nobody can take that away from them. This is right. an internship paid. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a manual labor type exactly. of situation. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, you... But this is what we as a community need to do because if we have businesses, um, one of my favorite authors and historians, he basically said there's no reason that our children should go to any other community to ask for jobs. Right. We are the ones who should be creating those positions for our own children. Absolutely. So you have okay. done that. Um, and that was Dr. Uh, Claude Anderson, if anybody wanted to check that out. Okay. Um, but now, Miss Rachel, what other things do you do in the community? Because you are – from what we can see, a mother, grandmother, um, but you have been doing your credit repair now for almost 15 years. Is there any stories that stand out to you how you really, really helped somebody to the point that it's like, it brought tears to your, like, to your eyes, like, oh, man, I did that work. <laughs> oh, uh, it's Couple. like I was slow down. <laughs> okay. Mainly the That's, men. Okay. When the men come in and they really get it together, mm -hmm. it's like they – they whole attire changes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like how they stand and yes. how they walk and the yes. haircuts change. I'm like, hey, what happened? What's that? <laughs> he was like, Miss Rachel, Miss Rachel, look out the window. I'm like, well, what? You got something for me out there? Okay. Had a brand new car. Yeah. All right. That's And when up. people tell me they bought new cars, I'm really not turned on by that. Mm -hmm. Um. But the fact that I'm turned know. on by when you tell me what your rate is. Mm. Okay. So when everybody okay. posting okay. their new cars and yeah. all that, anybody could buy a car. Right. Right. You could have right. a 200 credit score and buy a car. And yeah. You're paying a thousand dollars a month for that. <laughs> exactly. But you'll pay me eight hundred dollars a month. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not really turned on by the new cars. I get quickly in the inbox. Uh, what's the rate? Uh, and right. when anybody can't tell you what they rate, uh -huh. it's too uh -oh. high. You okay. done made a boo boo. So right. now going back to Luke, who's in business. All right. So we got Master P coming. All right, we got that. Um, but you have a couple performances because you make it an entertaining event. Right. So mm -hmm. last year you had a musician, um, he sang, but then this year I've seen you posted this one young lady. Uh, I believe she's a singer. Kaylin Mary. What's her name? Kaylin Mary. Kaylin Mary. And so tell us a little bit about her. Oh. She's okay. Oh. <laughs> she, she is she get your heart strings yes. <laughs> she is like you just gotta check her out yeah she is like a performer she's been working at this so uh -huh. so 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 long okay and she's strictly music okay. no matter okay. what her mom want to pull her in she's so she already knows kind of like what she wants to okay. do okay so when i asked her to perform she know what she told me uh -huh. she said uh miss rachel better send me my deposit so, well, wait a minute. When you know your worth. Cut the check. <laughs> when you know your worth. I told her, it's Karita Montgomery. That's Karita's daughter. Okay. And I'm like, well, Karita, did she know she my God, baby? <laughs> Ain't, no right. <laughs> Ain't no plugs. Ain't no plugs. I hurried up and sent my little deposit. I'm like, make sure you screenshot that little no her okay. deposit. <laughs> and as soon as I did my deposit, I got my little jingle. Okay. I was like... <laughs> okay. She was serious. I say, tell her the other, the, the other, when she arrived, uh, like okay. the other artist, okay. right? She'll right, get right. her rest of her check. Okay, okay. But she is all business and smart all brains. Right. Okay. 
everything. You got to check it. Go ahead. All right, so we're looking forward to seeing her. What else should we look forward to? Like, yep. I'm some, telling you, I've been to story. three of these now. I really, right. I'll be exhausted by the end. I'm like, sheesh. Okay. <laughs> and we got a whole after party. Oh, what's going like, on? Oh my God, the <laughs> you don't want to miss nothing. You well, know. Karita is going to speak first. She's uh-huh. going to be our first speaker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we have... Um, um, Pastor Michelle Proctor, she's going to speak. Okay. okay that's and then we have awesome. Nicole Singleton from New York. Okay. Okay. That's Look, the one you talked about now. <laughs> I'm from up north, and when you were posting her, I was like, okay, I get it. I get Go ahead. You, right. You, she's serious She's about very herself. serious. She, she gets on you, and she don't know you at all, but she comes through that screen and gets you. Well, that's why I like it, because <laughs> yeah. she is not cutting. No, ain't she no, no, no cut and dry. Right. I go straight to the point for you. Because sometimes when you're speaking in front of people, you kind of don't want to say certain things, but she like me. I'm going to say what it is, you and if I need it. to say forgive me later, mm. it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> but she will tell you exactly what you need to hear, all and that's right. why I chose her. Because I think we, the city that I'm in, we need to be shook up a little bit. Let's talk about because the city. Because everything we we need is like it's just right, right it's right there. Mm. Let's talk it's about right your there. City. Let's talk about your city. Because yeah, let's you, talk about wanna, your city. You know, we want to talk about your event. We're excited about it, but we want to always bring it back to the human side of the whole situation. You grew up where? In Sarasota. In Sarasota. Okay. And just give us a little background on what your history was and why you decided and why you go so hard for us as a people because something had to trigger you to do that. Absolutely. Something triggered you because you're going hard. You're going real hard. It, no. I know because I know I've triggered myself, the stuff <laughs> that I too. do. Yeah. And I know this, it's always a commonality between people when we really go hard. It, and it's not something, it doesn't have to be something big. It could just right. be like, you know what, somebody discriminated me, and I don't ever want that to happen. I want everybody who looks like me to always have an opportunity. And you know what? People aren't creating that opportunity. I'm going to create it. So what, what was it that really got you going in Sarasota, Florida? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, what really got me going far as business mm-hmm. and seeing my people in business is because they always told us we couldn't. Mm. Okay, okay. And I'm the type of person, I like, I love for you to tell me I can't do it. Right. Because then I'm gone. <laughs> That's my ticket. Yeah. To go and do it, girl. I, I, those are so words. a lot of times, you know, we think we're not good enough or yeah. we not we can't handle, you know, being on top. Mm. Right. We're supposed to be on top. But give me two seconds. All right, so our next set of tickets are about to go. We're about to go on another commercial break. Right, but if you call 813-444-9588, I'm going to say it this again. This is going to be four tickets this time. Oh, it's four tickets up for grabs, four, ladies and gentlemen. Four, four, four tickets to look who's nine, in business. Five, eight, eight, and uh, Holly, don't call back. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sing a little. They got to sing a little. Now you got to really, you gotta really yeah, give us something. Yeah, you got to really give us something. All right, something. All right. I, I better see it. All right, call us All right, soon, we'll be right? back. Thank you. Got us talk radio. Here you go. I'm trying to make sure that. Um... Hey, this is Agent Wright, better known as Mr. Clean. You looking for some great barbecue? Come see them two brothers in the grill. Located at 423 Virginia Street, Charleston, West Virginia. We got ribs, chicken, pulled pork, brisket, collard greens, mac and cheese, baby. Come get some. And get you a nice, smooth cigar. 304-550-4431. That is 304-550-4431. Come get some, baby. The rib man, mama, the rib man. Hi, I'm Donald L. Dowers Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. They're going to be busting the building down I had a dream already. I had a dream like Martin Luther King. used in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on on an innocent, innocent person of color. Uh It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color. Uh oh, we are live, oh, and are? there's a she caller on the line, phone up. and she Who's said, that? "Don't hang up this phone." Who's that? Well, she better come we with it on then. Commercial break. Sorry. Who is this? This is Shakia. Hey, Shakia. Hi, Shakia. Hold on. Hey, Dooney. <laughs> <laughs> can we? They hear her. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Welcome to Goddess Talk. Okay. How you so doing? Shakia got through. 
Shakia. Shakia said, you better not hang up that phone. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hang up. Check. I'm sorry. She heard me telling her to hang up. She was like, uh, don't hang up on her now. She family, too. All right, too. Shakia, you got four tickets up for grabs to one of the hottest events in the Sarasota, Manatee County area. Four tickets to see Master P at Rachel Hudson Spates Look Who's in Business Wait. event. Hey. All you hey. got to do is sing a song. Now, these are four tickets. So Make you got to sing okay. a song that you know or are familiar with that Master P had. Not one of his rappers, but him because mm. he's had some hits himself. Sing a song um, for about a minute, and Ooh, if minute. you do, Ooh. she said a minute. Oh, hey, these four she tickets. Went, nah, she gotta give us at least a chorus. Okay, all right. We gotta be said, able to give, bump to give it. Us Tasha some... making it hard. <laughs> Tasha making these four tickets. You should have to work for it. Just dang. What you gonna make them do event, for the VIP man. tickets? Dang. Hey, this okay. is a hot event. I'm ready, Shakia. Go. <laughs> Go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh-uh. hold on, wait. Cause I, I wanna. You said a full minute. No, no, no. Just do what you can. <laughs> Do what you can, but as long as you're singing Mama. something. Let's go. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Make them say, oh, oh, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Wait. Is that good, that good enough? She did another verse, Don. Nah. She sang another verse. Oh, that other lady just did that. Did she? No, I don't even know what she, she did. She said she did, she, she, she did another part of the song. She hey. did another part of the song. All right, Shakia. Shakia. We got you for she, she, you're going to get an A for effort. <laughs> but we at least need to know what else go with that. Oh, uh, na 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 na. What's the rest of the song? Give, give us a little Look, bit more. If Master P was listening, he would be, be very disappointed. <laughs> he lied. She don't know me like that. <laughs> we, Master P will be very, that you did not know one other verse. Shakia, I'm trying to keep these tickets for you. Come on, give me a little bit more. Wait, okay, so I gotta okay, all right, all right. Just a little um, bit more. You could have been a YouTube by now. I, I tune, oh, I tune, hey, come on, I tune. Come on. She got an iPhone. Listen, y'all stop doing that. I'm, I I don't wanna I don't wanna cheat. Okay, no, okay, good. okay. No worries. Okay. All right, girl, she we got she you. Don't cheat. We appreciate you for all that too. So she got her four tickets. We yes, got yeah. her. All right. So um, go ahead and Thank DM y'all. me um go, or DM Goddess Talk, and we'll make sure you get you your tickets. And all right? Shakira, when you win your tickets, um, when we when you do get your tickets, post it on your social media tag Goddess Talk oh, Radio. Yeah. And if you Rachel, um can go and request Rachel, you may not be able to or follow her. Um, but you can still put her name in the post to let people know, yeah. okay? Yeah. Good job. Okay. Congratulations. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Woo, woo. All right. We're going to have another. All right, y'all. Y'all better call in. People winning these tickets. Yeah. All Look you got to do is sing a song from Master P, and that's it. Just a little bit of the lyrics, and you and, in the dough. And no more. Shana-na-na. Shana-na-na. Okay, we done. Sure. Uh, no more of that. We done. We know that song. <laughs> All right, y'all. So um, before the break, um, as Rachel was telling us a little bit about where she grew up and just what, you know, kind of motivated her to just start doing it. And we know that can't nobody test you and say you can't do something because you're going to do it. Right. And right. you've been doing it. Right. You got I a just couple know that we We born hustlers. Oh, yeah. No I doubt. mean, even the kids come out hustling you. They came out. Oh. <laughs> so what do we got to do here? You got a dollar. So basically, it's just, we just got to use our gifts that we were born with, mm-hmm. and we'll always be on top. Okay. Uh, even yeah. if you're on a job, you still a boss on your job. You may right. work for somebody, but how you govern yourself on that job, you are already a business. Okay. okay. How you handle yourself, like, what do they see when you walk in the door? Mm. Right. That's the same thing they're going to see when you have your own business. Mm. Right. If you late and you ain't doing it right, that's going to reflect when you have a business. Yeah. Right. Yep. I knew I was going to be a business owner from my first job because okay. I never was on time. <laughs> I always wanted to come when I wanted to come. I knew that I was not going to do a nine to five, but right. I, I knew I was going to work, mm-hmm. but I knew... That just wasn't for you. It just was never going to work for you. Because I was always late, but I was always the best on the job Mm -hmm. because I'm a talker. Mm -hmm. And I would never really get fired, but they would be sick of me because I would be late and I'm not setting a good example for other employees. But if they worked like me Mm -hmm. when they were at work, 
it wouldn't be no problem. It was problem. a give and take. Okay. So you may not have been on time, but your work ethic while right. you were on the job was what drove you to now do your own thing. Right. All right. And now you have been part of that, of course, your own children and grandchildren now. So now, uh, growing up in Sarasota, but now you, you're in, you're still in Sarasota right I'm now? I'm in Parish right now. You're in Parish. Okay. So now, what's the dynamic of that Parish or that whole county? What's that? Is that a county? Parish is a county or what is it? Parish is like Palmetto Parish, okay. Ellington. It's okay. kind of in the same. You're talking to a Jersey girl. Okay. I don't know where none of that place is. <laughs> but I'm just figuring. It's pretty it's much still Sarasota okay. Brazen. Okay. 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 I mean, what? 10 minutes, 15 minutes I'm okay. in Sarasota? Okay. Do you feel like you have a, a distinct black community um, wholeness going on over there? Like, do you feel like we are present there and we're doing stuff? We're pushing our community forward. Do you feel that? Or is it something that we need to work on? I feel it coming, okay. and I feel it's something we need to work on because okay. we are doing more. Since we start, since I started Look Who's in Business, 17 businesses have been registered. Oh, wow. Not okay. just seven, Say that again, 17, please. 17, 17 people. And then some of the business owners, they hated networking events because they never made any money, and yeah. they felt like it was a waste of their time. Mm-hmm. But I tell them, the moment you pay for your booth, you're supposed to be promoting yourself in that event at your booth. Mm. Right. Nobody's not going to know you're going to be there if you don't tell people. They expect right. you to do the whole work. They expect work. the person who's hosting the yeah. event. They go, well, how many people you expect to come? I say, how many people expect to bring? Right. Why should you be a vendor at mm-hmm. my event? Right. Because sometimes I I may turn a vendor down because I know you're not going to hustle to get your own money in there. Because okay. Your money is my money. Yeah. Right. My client's going to bring you money. Yeah. Right. So if you're not hustling and you're not promoting yourself, why am I out here beating the pavement yeah, to get them to come spend see. money with you? I that's that. true. So I, I pump, 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 promote yourself, promote yourself. I don't even see, I go down all my vendors timeline just to see if you even going to promote yourself. Not me. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm going to do my part. Yeah. People, but you are you promoting promote yourself? yourself even if you're not going to an event? Mm-hmm. If you're in business, I should be able to look at your page right. you or doing. see you and I should know exactly what you do. Yeah, <clears> definitely. Not, I do nails, but I don't, you don't have no nails on your page. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you know, not a good I, you look. You should be able to say, like, when I see Tasha, first thing I think of is Crab Shalom. I don't care. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> when you see, <laughs> right, that's the first thing I think yeah. about. So you already connected to the white party, right. Crab Shalom. When I see your name, that's what I think about. Right. You, I think about your your networking, your, um, your business. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you got to be connected to someone. When people definitely. see you, yep, they definitely. need to know what you do, like the crab man. Right. Oh, that's the lady who cooked the fish. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's the last lady. Yeah. Oh, that's the lady definitely. who laid the lace front. You know, yeah. when you when people see you, they should, know they should automatically brand. know exactly what you do. If they don't, you have not promoted yourself. And right, and I'm glad you, sorry, B. Mm-hmm. You um, Rachel, I'm glad you touched on that about um, people when you vend. That's something that is a privilege, when you vend at certain events where there's going to be over three <coughs> to five hundred, maybe a thousand people in the building, to me that is a privilege. A lot of people don't understand just your presence and having your product there, your marketing material, your face being in a building, people. We got to get out of that mind frame thinking if we spend a few dollars and we don't make anything, we're not getting anything out there. I am a living witness, okay? I have done events where I didn't make much, but I made connections. That's why Rachel is sitting here with me now. You got to understand, you have to spend a little in order to get yourself out there. And what better way to spend is being a vendor at an event where there's going to be Master P in the building. You'll be able to see him in the building. I seen Yandy when she came through. Rachel makes sure that they come through. Yes, they come through. And Yandy was given products by Bonnie in her hand. And she was a vendor there. So I'm telling you guys, vendor spaces are very pertinent Um, Anything you do with marketing or anything like that, get your business out there. You will reap the benefits of it. Trust and believe I am a living witness. And if they don't, sometimes you you test it. Mm -hmm. I've been in so many networking events. My first networking event, I was like, okay, nobody ain't coming to my booth. (laughs) Uh, Well, they don't see me. They see myself out here. But I wasn't approaching anybody. I wasn't saying hi. I ain't have candy on my table. See, Frank, draw me in. Have some have cookies and now. candy on your yeah, table. Yeah, okay. Bring them on over here. You know what I mean? You got to oh, right, be lit. Them you got to get them to your table yeah. to, to tell them what you do because sometimes your business name 
may not even be what you do. Yeah. Right. And Rachel, so, I've seen you bring people to people's vendor spaces as well. Right. You'll come by and you also have a team that does, uh, I want to say commercial or video. Right. Um, and capture some of your vendors that are there and so forth. So, because I was on one of them. Right. So, right. I do um, see you coming through the crowds. You're always working and you are putting faces, you know, putting people right. with you know, their product and putting people, um, you know, to go over and support their tables. So she does do that as well, people. It's, right. it's just important because sometimes you go to networking events, and I've been to so many, I know exactly what I don't want in yeah. mind. I went to one in North Carolina. That's how I came up with the, the theme of having performers mm -hmm. and having the, the kiosks in yeah. the middle aisle. <laughs> I go to events every time to see how I can make you mine better. It. You tweak right. it to what you like. Because right. what you want to think, um, a lot of people don't realize, you know, you're also a consumer of your own products, you know? Right. So you want to create an experience for other people that you hope that you would feel when you came to an event, correct? Right, right. So now, what do you still have left for people to get as vendors? Um, we have tickets. Yes, we know the tickets are still there. But do you still have any vendor tables available? Nope. Unless they want to be outside. Uh-oh. Vendor spaces <coughs> are sold out, people. That goes to show. People want to be in the place. I'm just in the building. We That's turned down there. seven <laughs> businesses today, but oh, I'm telling you, if you want to be outside. Can't wait. You can be outside. You, you do have some food trucks available, stuff like that. Correct? Right, we can't do have, wait. We have food wait, truck people. space available. That's how they do when the um, white party come up. Last people blow us last up. Last minute, we be so loud. It's, That's it's, how people it, blowing us up to get on God is talking. Now. Yeah, no, we're booked, we're to, booked October. to October. Yay! Thank you guys so we much. Appreciate thank everybody you. who Ooh. took an opportunity with us. We this is only our third show, y'all. And this also, guys, we're um, offering $10 business shout-outs. I got a couple of people that's on my Facebook page asking me um, how do we do that. So I'll reach out to you guys as well. But you can email us at info at goddess talk cast, and that's goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, talkcast.com. Um, to do the business shout-outs. If you want to sponsor Goddess Talk, if you want us to promote your business, once a week or monthly or however you want to do it, we can, you know, tailor your package for you. Yes, so yes, definitely yes. we can do that as well. So mandatory. Um, yeah, we Take can do that. that. So, so uh, we're about to go to our next break. This is going to be our last break before the end of the show, right? So we are going to give out VIP tickets now. Uh-oh. Okay? Now see. How many? How many we got? Where's the other ticket? You right here. There's four. I have, I have six. Four here. I've already given away six. We have four and two. So there's oh. six more right here. Okay. I have the six that are given already. Okay, so done. there's two. So that's, that's okay. six. So okay. we're going to do six. Six. And okay. then we're going to do one All right. VIP. The VIP. All right, you VIP. Actually gotta now you really got to dance, the y'all. They got to do. I ain't playing. I'm not playing you with You know them. what? Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm able to say no. Look, look. Listen, y'all you, you got to do a lot for that VIP. Y'all got to go to Rachel page. Y'all got to go to Goddess Talk page. Oh. Y'all got to be on this live or listening. This something, man. Y'all got to do something. They got to go follow all our pages. So Goddess Talk. You got to. A menu. You got you to gotta, uh, follow Goddess Talk on Instagram, Facebook. All right. You got to follow Miss Rachel's uh, Look Who's in Business on Facebook and Instagram. All right. right. You got to tell your friends about all of us. And get two <laughs> other people to do the same thing to get that <laughs> VIP ticket. But for the other six tickets that we do have, I'm sorry, this is four. I can't count. Today, uh -oh. it's six. Hold up, two, four. Okay, yes, it's six. Oh, okay. it's six, y'all. So your whole clan can come, right? <laughs> so we got get the whole squad. Crew. Get your you squad and together. Your crew. You know, can show up. You so and call your crew. and give us a, a quick, you know, give them the number. 15 seconds. 813-444-9588. People right. call in. Wait Let's like five tickets. minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, don't call now. Wait like five minutes. <laughs> we'll be back in one minute, y'all. <laughs> Countdown. <laughs> Teeny bopper tent. also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based, project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while solving 
starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your students a more excellent way at The Way. Hey, this is Miss K with K's Kitchen, where we're cooking Chicago-style fried chicken and fish with the authentic Chicago-style mouth sauce. Come check us out at our new restaurant located at 3320 East Osborne Avenue in the Jackson Heights area. We have a brand new menu, which includes whole wings, catfish, pizza puffs, and much more. Call us at 813-368-5196. Again, that number is 813-368-5196. See you soon. Hey, oh. hey, 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 I Gotta Talk is right. back on In Touch <laughs> News. Hey, y'all, right. Back. And Gotta Talk. We got Miss Rachel Spate Hudson here of Luke Who's in Business, right? So, for the six tickets... You just got to call in and give us a uh, masterpiece song. You got to sing a masterpiece but song, y'all. Not the VIP, hook, man. We need some VIP lyrics. Tickets we got? Right. We need. We got one VIP. We got, we got one, one VIP, VIP ticket man. to give got, out. This is going to be up and close. Tonight. Okay. This is going to be up and close and personal. And y'all got to work for this you, VIP. You going to work. <laughs> now get this work. <laughs> now get this work. All right. So um, we got a lot going on. Like right here, you got... This this is business right here. You right. You're a business man. Right. All right. right. <laughs> Jay Z right. said that. Um okay. so yeah. how long have you do you feel that you've been really just grinding? Grinding to get to where you are right now, where you feel like, you know what, not that you're comfortable. It's not right, it because right. we know as business owners that we'll never always be comfortable because we'll keep going for the right. next for the next. But, that does but how it. do you feel like you've been grinding? How long have you feel you've been grinding to get here? Well, I knew once I got my life together mm -hmm. that I already had the aid of the devil 10 years. Mm. Right. 10 years in the wilderness, 10 years of in this jail. You finna drop some jewels. Section 8. Mm. Yeah. Homeless. Motels. Yeah. DCF kids, all wow. that crap. You've been there. So 10 years, I was like, okay, I got to make That's up it. for these 10 yeah. years. it. I got to make up for these 10 years because I done lost 10 years playing. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like playing catch up. Yeah. And right. he gave me my 10 years back in two years. Uh. Wow. So I had it in two years. So I was like, okay, but if he going to move like this. Mm. Then let's keep Then moving. let's roll. Let's I ride. had a partner. Yep. So. And look at so, you now. Yeah. Look at this. The yep. funny thing, <clears throat> my mom, she's, she. I feel like my parents are my, my biggest supporters. Like, doesn't matter who it is. My parents are the biggest supporters. So I finally sent them um, the YouTube link for our last show. And mm -hmm. my mom heard about you. She's like, I like that name she got. She's like, that's a, from the Bible. I was like, I didn't know that. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> she was like no. The Lord said you should pursue, overtake, and, and recover. recover. And I was like. Okay, mommy, you got it. <laughs> like, you know, but what? See, that's that's how she got your name. That business came from a revival that I went to. Wow. Look, I ain't know all that. But like, my, mom, my mom, this is why y'all gotta be on the show. My mom literally is like nineteen, twelve. Like she's so she don't know nothing about this technology. Right. Like Facebook, nothing. <laughs> and for but her to pull that part out out yeah. of everything else that was said was very distinct was just really powerful to me because that shows that hey you have a purpose on your life right. that you're pursuing right, right. um you've and I overtake a lot, the you process over, you right. overcame a lot and of stuff recovered. and i recovered right. after right. just 10 years of just being out there crazy right yeah you crazy. got that back in two and then you've just been you it's just been a surplus been since that. yeah so right. that's a great message to a lot of people that who is feel man that, if hey, y'all don't know, take nothing from down. that message i don't know what to tell you that <laughs> um, well, a lot of people uh, be scared to talk about their past and stuff like that. Mm. But I'm telling you, your past can actually make you better, man. Yeah. Some people, if you do the Rachel formula and pursue and, you Hashtag know. Hashtag Rachel formula. <laughs> right. You do all of that, I'm telling you, you're going to reap the benefits of it. I'm a living witness myself. You will reap the benefits. What so. was you about to say, Ms. Rachel? Sorry. Well, I was just getting ready to say, when I first heard the business name, mm. It was like night and day. God would say, everything that you do, you're going to have to pursue it. Okay. Nobody's going to give you nothing. Right. You're going to pursue it. You're going to overtake the process, and you're going to recover what you pursued mm -hmm. every time. 
So don't look for people to be helping you. No, no, You be no, crying. No, no, no. You ain't got no support. You no. ain't going to get no support. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be me and you. Yeah. Right. So ever since then, everything I do is pursued. My real estate company name is pursued. Yeah. Right. My credit repair company name is pursued. Okay. okay. Title awesome. company name is going to be pursued. Uh-oh. Okay. The mortgage company name is going to be pursued. All that stuff. All right. And That's you're what's claiming up. a lot of stuff that That's even though up. it's not, it hasn't come to fruition. Oh, yeah. You've already spoken it. Oh, yeah. You've already seen it. You've spoken it. It's already done. Yeah. So, all right. Next year, we're going to be saying, like, okay, so you mark that off your list right all right so what's the next thing on the Look, list you know I when i it. seen that she got a real to co- um realty company i'm like oh lord let me go on and get this real estate license because boy you and about 20 other people Look, in my inbox i said I'm like, boy this here yeah. <laughs> this is like, some work let me go ahead on but then you was like it's some work and i understand because you know you can't just think that you can't go into a business and think that it's going to happen overnight. It's the process. And right. Rachel's here to talk about that and telling people it's the process. Trust me, I know it is a process because marketing and trying to convince people that you're not the old you, you're the new you. Right. Trying to convince people to support you. Oh, my gosh, that's like pulling teeth from a baby. It is a lot of work, people. And, you know, when you put in your time and you really grind hard, you get results. And Rachel is sitting here today to talk about her results. So, hey. We can't wait for to look you. who's in business. Yep, 2K19 coming to Sarasota, Florida the at the Robart P. Arena, right? Yes. On what day? Hey, Karita. Master July 27th. P. July 27th. And we got these last So nobody don't want tickets. tickets. Y'all need to call in. Like they wait for that VIP. Four, they four, think four, they so slick. Nine, five, uh, eight, eight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Should we? No. Hey. No, I'm taking back the VIP. Oh, yeah. She's taking it off back. the table. There y'all I'm go. Y'all want to be. Get off the table. Nah. Y'all don't want to call in for so, that VIP. Ooh, they don't want to call in. They okay, so let's do this. No, give me my six tickets back. <laughs> give me the one. And we'll VIP. do the VIP. All right. Okay. Because we're All almost right. out. Now we got to go. Yeah, we yeah, got to we gotta go. So sure. you got to call in and you Only have to, to sing. People. I'm telling you. If you have you not followed, I'm saying, I'm 813 serious. 813 You have to follow. 9588. You must have followed Goddess Talk. Um, we can't check. We ain't got time to check all that. Look, I'm right here. <laughs> Yo, call in. Look. Go ahead, call in right now and in. get this VIP ticket. You gotta sing something for us, and not no. Oh, nah, nah, nah. I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> all right. No, mm, I don't want. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Just all right, you got exactly <laughs> seven minutes. Nah, to call. Nine to seven. Well, no, we, actually, we out of here four minutes. Five. Yeah, we're out of here. Eight one three four 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 nine five eight eight. Call now, Marlena. Oh, she calling her in. Out. I'm calling you out. Uh oh, they on the live talking right. about how they call. Oh, 813-444-9588. And the lines are open, man. Y'all and better call. Let's give a shout out to In Touch News while we're waiting for these Oh, yeah, people. definitely. Call. Shout out to In Touch um, News. They are a sponsor t- of I know. Guys. I know. That's why yep. Mr. Darrell was so excited. He's like, you got Rachel to come here? Because <laughs> they know I don't come nowhere. <laughs> He's like, oh, she coming. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, oh, the VIP. Forget it. <laughs> It better be Latoya. This is Goddess Talk. Who this? Hello. 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 This is Marlena. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she told you to call. You better sing, girl. You is a, this is a vendor. Uh-huh. And look who's in business, and she better sing. Because Master, right. Master P is going to see this live, I'll... and y'all got to let him know. Hey, Uh-oh. we coming with hey, y'all, you. Now, go ahead don't and give us a song. Y'all can't embarrass. Come on, Marlena. You can't. Come on. Come on. Come through. Come on, girl. Come through. <laughs> Y'all ready? We ready. We ready. I like the way she do it like that. Uh oh, that's mom. That's mom. <laughs> she's in a song. Ooh wee. The way she took and make her grab a boss. Ooh wee. Don't you mess up, damn it. <laughs> I was, I was doing the chicken head. Like, hold on. I know. Go. I started. I was like, was that chicken? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm chicken oh, head. Like, <laughs> wrong, Marlena. Oh, wrong, Marlena. <laughs> That was the right song. Oh, was it? That was on YouTube. Okay, you were. Cool ass hit song. Everything. Oh, another. Uh oh. That was not his song, Marlena. That wasn't his song. We got, we got another caller. Sorry, Marlena. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna be right back with you. Hold on. We got it. It's a contest right now. We gotta see who next. Did they hang up? Hang up on it. You hung up on Marlena. Oh, no. There she go. What? Okay. It's Marlena. So who else? Do we we're have, gonna take oh, one more call, call, Marlena, and then we're gonna decide who's the winner, okay? Who? Oh, Cause you ain't give by. us enough verse. You ain't give us enough verse. We <laughs> weren't right. convinced. So I think you we got it on somebody. The other line. I think so. Do we got another caller? They hung up. Oh, there Uh-oh. go. 
Hey, Hello, you're live with Goddess Talk. Latoya. Hi, Latoya. Latoya. Oh. How are you? <laughs> this right. must oh. be somebody Rachel knows. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. You better come with it, Latoya. I'm right. telling come you. Come on, Latoya. You got one minute. You got one. I got you. Wood grain with the leather seat. Window so dark, you need a flashlight to see me. Okay. Smoking on that doja. So in the back, screaming, no in the soldier. Oh. Oh. All right, Latoya. Latoya. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Marlena. I'm going to give Marlena one, too. Okay. And then I'm also going to split these six tickets with them. <laughs> the so okay. they're in the VIP. Thank so you uh, Marlena, you right, are still you in the game. All right, so um, I can't do my girl like that. I can't Latoya, do my girl like that. Go ahead and DM us or, and Rachel to get your tickets. Okay. But um, we have come to the end and of the show. And shout us out on your social media. Please, please, um, please. God us talk radio. Thank you so much, Miss Rachel, for coming. Part two was great. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, okay. guys. Marlena. Who's that? That He's was still Marlena. There. Marlena. <laughs> You got your VIP, yeah. girly. You're All gonna right. get your VIP too, and Facebook your three. Uh, your social media. You're gonna get three tickets, even though you're getting tickets with your booth too. All right. Oh, you got it made, Thank girly. Thank y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. So. All right. This Thank has you. been Goddess Talk with Balaji. Tasha and Miss Rachel showed up as our special guest. Thank, Thank you. Yes. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Good. We're good. Bye, y'all. The music has not. Oh, yes. we be getting off. <laughs> Look, I don't be want right. to get cut off because it's seven fifty seven. I'm like, ooh, when I get the music, week. we'll be you back. Know, when the music week. play, we be like, oh, get us okay. starting to fade Every out. Every single Thursday <laughs> at right. seven p.m. Y'all gotta get in Bruh. on the shows. We and booked book up it. to October, people. Watch if you want to be in the studio, y'all I'm hit in. us up. I'm Ann Brooke on to talk about this song she just sang. Oh, she and on. <laughs> She's like, that ain't a song. But well, we off, right? I mean, the air, though, right? No, no we still I think on. we're still on. We still went for the music. There's the music, Okay, though. there's the music. <laughs> All right, Goddess Pop Radio. No worries. <laughs> All right, we're good?